In this day of single-use plastics and all our concerns about that, um, I'm having to try and rethink how I use my cling film because I use a lot of this cling film, or I have done in the past, to create to create patterns in my seas. Now this one is a compostable one, but I'm still not particularly fond of it. And actually it's nowhere near as good. It's really hard. Can you see it's all just, <laughs> I have a real love hate relationship with cling film or plastic wrap as they call it in America anyway. But this stuff is even worse and it's almost impossible to actually get it straight. Look, I just can't do it. But I am going to try and get off some and just show you a couple of ways that I use it. Oh, see, it's just a nightmare. <laughs> oh dear, I'm not going to swear. That won't look very good, will it? Um, so I've got a couple of bits off there and that probably will end up being composted at some point. But you need to have your, your cling film or your plastic wrap ready in advance because of that. Uh, you don't want your paint to be drying and then you battling with this stuff to try and uh, get it off the roll. Right, so if I was doing a C, I will just wet a bit. I'm going to do two, two areas, one here. I'm just going to use ultramarine blue, anything that I've got in my palette really. Make it reasonably strong because the cling film will take the top layer of your paint off sometimes so it can actually just disappear to nothing. So I'm going to put quite a bit on there and then I'm going to put my cling film on when that's really wet. So what you do is you crinkle it up and you create your pattern. Now whatever you see is the way it will dry. So if I wanted something that was sweeping upwards, then I would have to spend a little bit of time doing just that, sweeping these lines up. Now, if you press down really hard or quite hard, you'll, you see you'll get dark lines. But if you don't squash it down completely, you will get light areas. So let's just do a bit more here. And I'm going to leave that to do its thing and leave it on till it's dried. But I'm fairly certain I know what's going to happen to that. But while that is drying, let's do another underneath. Ultramarine blue again. And I will do the same again, but this time I'm going to take this off just before it dries. So let's get some similar shapes. It should have a bigger piece really, but as you can see, I had trouble with that. But hopefully this will give you the idea. So I'm going to leave that for a little while, but I'm going to take that off before it completely dries, whereas that one I'm going to leave on. And then we can compare the two. But I'm also on the lookout for alternatives. So I'm going to try two things. First of all, I'm going to try just ordinary tissue paper. And then on this one, I'm going to use wax wrap. You know those fabric that are impregnated with wax now that you use for your sandwiches. Um, I'm going to have a go at that as well. So let's just have a go with this. I have no idea what the trouble is you can't see what you're doing. Mm. 
Maybe you can see actually, maybe if I'd made it linear. Let's try that again. Because once it's actually on and you can see the paint soaking through, let's just try that. I'm thinking as I'm working here, this is not something I've tried before. So it could fail miserably, but that's okay. I can take failure. That's how you learn. If you've never failed at anything, you'll never learn anything. But this time, I'm going to spend a little bit more time sort of maybe squishing it long ways. And then putting it on, I wouldn't be able to bend it as such, but you can see that's more linear. Let's see what that does. Now I'm just checking this. I want this to come off when it's damp, but not completely wet. No, I'm still a bit too wet at the moment. Oh, no, I don't know. It wasn't too bad there because the edges, as you know, always dry quicker. So I'll just take a little bit off. But by taking it off when it's damp, the lines are not completely sharp, um, whereas they probably will be. So we'll just have to wait for all of this to dry now. So you can see I'm taking that off. So you can still see the lines, but they're softer. So I need to get rid of that now. Put that in my compost bin. Maybe I should wash it first. Now I'm just going to have a little peep at this, what's going on over here. Oh, you see, it's I like the effect, but it's not, it's not linear, is it? That isn't anyway. This might be better, but I do like the effect, but it does take quite a lot of paint off, as you can see. So I do think it would have its use. Um, it's a bit like tinfoil. I sometimes use that, and that's the sort of effect I get with that. So I quite like it. But it's not an alternative to this at the moment. Let's see what this does. Let's take this off. You see, that's the problem. It takes too much paint off. So you can see how pale that is. It is a little more linear, but I actually prefer that. So I'm not sure I've found a good alternative for the linear effect because this is still not quite dry, I don't think. Oh, it's not so bad, but you can see how how linear that is in comparison. Um, so I'm still on the lookout, but we'll have a go at the wax wrap and see what that does. And finally, let's just have a go at this. This is this beeswax. Uh, wraps looking a bit grotty now but let's just have a go and see what that will do oops should have had some clean water there but never mind so I'm just going to wet the area and then put some ultramarine on like that and then we talked about getting it in a, a linear. But the trouble is with this, you won't be able to see what's happening underneath. So, oh, will you? You can see a little bit. I'm not worried about the linear pattern just at the moment. Let's just see if it'll do anything at all. So I'm going to have to leave that to dry. And then just see what happens. So I will come back in a little bit. So I've just weighted it down with a few books. So let's just see what happens here, if anything. So I've never done this. This is uh, first time for me. Mm, yeah, it, it's a nice effect. I like it a lot, but it doesn't equate to the linear effect that I get with cling film. So it looks like I'm still on the search, um, but I do quite like 
it doesn't take as much paint off as the tissue paper, that's for sure. I think that is it for this video. Um, I'm probably still on the lookout. This still gives me the effect that I really want, but I am more concerned these days about using cling film. Um, yeah, so I'm just going to have to keep looking, but I've found some quite new... This is really nice, actually. Some new effects there that I could probably use in some way. Okay, so if you find something that works as well as that and is going to help our environment, then I'd love to hear from you. Happy painting. <laughs>